Geshe Ada of Geshe Ada's Learning Center. And today, we're going to learn our writing unit 12. But before anything else, let's bow our heads in prayer. Lord Jesus, we come to you. Help us and guide us in our studies. Bless our parents, our guardians, and children. This we ask in your mighty name and everybody say, Amen. Yay! And today I'm going to sing a song for you. It's entitled, Little Sunny Water. Little sunny water, sleeping in the corner. Wake up, wake up and wash your face and make a tumble shake. Oh, shake it to the right, shake it to the left. Point to S and point to West. Point to the one you like best. Yay! And now kids, let's go and recap our lessons for the past weeks. We've been coloring the object that starts with Q and R. And then we have some exercises of letters Q and R. We've been writing capital Q and small Q on the board, as well as writing capital R and small R on the board. And we go now to our main lessons for today. We're going to be coloring letter S and letter T objects. And then we're gonna check the picture that have S sounds, the names of persons that begin with S. We're gonna color the picture where you see letter T written on it. Names of person that begin with letter T, and we can look for the words of the short story that start with letter T and write it on the board. This will be our lessons for today. Now we can color the snake which starts with letter S on the board glass. Let's color it with brown and green. Start here with the brown. Start with the top. I am now coloring the body of the snake with brown. Now let's go now on the belly of the snake. I'm coloring it now with green. Snake starts with letter S. Snake is without green here on the body. And now I'll finish coloring. The picture of a snake which which starts with letter S. And now class, let's go to the first lesson for today. Let's check the pictures in the box that have S as beginning sound. The pictures in the box are socks, swing, strawberry, snake, ant, and bag. What are we gonna check? The pictures that have the S as beginning sound. Oh, let's go and see the pictures again. Sounds. Start with letter S. So what are we going to do with the socks? We're going to check it. Now let's go to another picture. Oh, it's a swing. Swing start with S. What are we going to do with the swing? We're going to check swing. Let's go to the word and the object strawberry. Oh, strawberry starts with letter S. What are we going to do now? We're going to check it. Oh, finally, we see a snake. What are we going to do with a snake now? Oh, we're going to check snake. Why? Because it starts with letter S. How about the ant? Of course, no. And the bag? Oh, we don't check bag. We finished checking our letter S. Let's go again, 
class to the names of person that starts with capital S. Of course, and then underline the beginning letter S. Let's start now with Solomon. And underline letter S or capital S. The next word is Sebastian. What are we going to do with letter S or capital S? We're going to underline it. The next name is Sabino. We're going to underline capital S. Let's go to the name of the girls. The first name is Susan. Let's go and underline capital S with Susan. Our next name is Solidad. Of course, we're going to underline letter S, capital S. And the last one is Sally. What are we going to do with the capital S? Of course, we're going to underline capital S. So we'll finish our capital S for today. We go now to writing capital S and small s on the board. Capital S is just a curve. From the top you curve and then going down is again a curve. And so with the little curve, uh, letter S, small s, we're going to have a curve from the top. And when you go down again, it's a little curve. So we're going to write letter S or capital S on the board now. Start from the top and then make a curve. And then when you go down, make your curve. It's capital S. Start here and then make a curve again. And then you get down, you make your curve. Capital S. Now let's go and start from the top making a curve. And then go down with a curve again. Looks like a snake. Start from the top and you go down again with a curve, capital S. There again, we then start from the top and you get down, it's also a curve. Capital S looks like a snake. Start from the top again with a curve and go down with a curve. Now let's go again to the last one. Make it a curve and we get down again is a curve. So we finish our capital S. Yay! Now class, let's go to the small s. Let's write capital small s on the board. Small s is just the same but a little curve and then a curve again we put down. It's just the same procedure, small s. From the top, you curve again and curve going down. And then the last one, you make a curve and you get down, it's also a curve. You go to the last row, making a curve and then again going down, a small curve. From the top, you make a curve and you go down with a little curve. Here again, it's just the same procedure, curve. Then you go up and then you go down, it's a curve. So we finished making our capital S and small s. We can color the picture of the tree that starts with letter T. I have here a brown and a green. So let's go to the board and color the picture of a tree that starts with letter T. First, I'm going to color here with the brown. This is a big branch, the body of the tree, and then branches here, coloring it brown. Now let's go to the leaves all over, and then color it green. The leaves are green. The 
the coloring, your fine motors are moving. So you are improving your motor skills. Oh, it's awesome. My friend is coloring the object, the picture of a tree. Hi class again. The next activity is coloring the objects where you can see letter T hiding. Oh, let's play hide and seek now. Oh, let's find out letter T on the object. The first object is a train. Go and find letter T. You find it? Color train. And now, the next is the picture of a tree. Let's find letter T and the picture of a tree. Did you find it? Oh, there is. What are we going to do now? We are going to color the picture. Why? Picture of a tree because it has letter T. The next picture is a goat. Oh, did you find letter T on the goat? Of course, there is none. Why? Goat starts with letter G. So there is no letter T. Let's go to the next picture class. Oh, there is. Because it's a table. There is a letter T hiding. What are we going to do now with the table? Of course, we're going to color the table. Because there is a letter T. So we finish coloring our letter T. And now, class, let's go now to the names of persons that begin with letter T. First, the name is Terso, Troy, Tori. Now, let's go to the names of the girls. Therese, Tessie, and Trina. Oh, the names of persons that begin with letter T are so fascinating. We go now to a very interesting story about the camping day of the third grade. When you find letter T, go and circle it. Let's read the story. The third grade camping day. Troy with his teacher, Mr. Teresa Travis, and the grade three class were now making their tent. It was their camping day. They were very excited and happy. So what are we going to do now? We are going to find letter T, all the words that start with letter T and circle it. Let's start with the title. The circle it. Third, circle it. Let's go now to the paragraph. Troy starts with letter T or capital T. We're going to circle Troy. Teacher, we're going to circle teacher also. Terso, we're going to circle Terso. Travis, we're going to circle Travis. And the, we're going to circle the also. Three, we're going to circle three. And now we're going to circle there and also tent. And then we go now there. We're going to circle there and also they. Those are the words. That start with letter T. The third grade coming day. Yay! Now class, we're going to learn capital T and small t. Capital T is just a vertical line from the top you go down and a small horizontal line at the top. While the small t is also a vertical line going down and make a little curve and come back to the top and make a small horizontal line closing the small t. Let's go and write capital T and small t on the board class. Now we go from the top make a vertical line and go back again make a very small horizontal line. Capital T. Now let's go and from the top you go down and make a horizontal line at the top. From the top it's a vertical line, go down and then come back again to the top and make a small horizontal line. It's just the same with capital T, a little horizontal line at the top. From the top 
a straight line and then go back again to the top and make a horizontal line. So it's the same procedure. Capital T. Straight line again and then go back with a horizontal line. From the top, we just go down and make again horizontal line at the top. So we finished our capital T. Let's go and write the small t on the boy glass. Just make a line and then make a little curve. We are back again, a small t, horizontal line, of course a little bit in the middle. Go back again here, straight line and make a little curve and then cross it with a small horizontal line. Put it back again to this one and then make a curve and then make a little horizontal line, making it across. Then from the top you go down again and make a curve and a horizontal line almost in the middle. Put it back again from the top you go down and make a curve and then make a horizontal line. From the top you go down and make a curve again and then horizontal line across it. Now let's go at the top you go down again with a curve and then here line again. It's just the same make a straight line and curve and then a little line crossing the T. Now we finished our small T glass. Hi day class again. This has been our writing unit 12. Hope you enjoy our class. See you again next time for another session of writing unit 13. This is teacher Ada saying goodbye for now till next issue. Bye-bye.